the awesome power of nature on full display in southwest Iceland. The Reykjanes Peninsula, close to the capital, suffering a string of violent volcanic eruptions in the past years. Iceland's massive activity, both a burden and a blessing for those who live here. The town Grindavik, close to the eruption site, evacuated, a fissure running right through the streets and the houses. Clara Haldorsdottir, one of the more than 3,000 residents evacuated last November, says she's had enough and will never move back. I get goosebumps when I talk about it because it, it was really, really strange. Just long lines of cars exiting town. It was like in a terrible movie or something. When things appear to get more calm, a few months later, another violent eruption occurs as the Reykjanes Peninsula seems to have entered into a period of high volcanic activity that could last months, years, or even centuries, experts say. Keeping the specialists at Iceland's meteorological office tasked with predicting eruptions busy round the clock. The GPS station that telling us if the ground is changing, it is deforming. We are maintaining the geochemical monitoring that is telling us which are the kind of gases that are leasing, uh, leaving the volcanoes. While volcanoes often have an impact on life here in Iceland, the Icelanders have found ways to harness the power of our violent Earth. Geothermal power plants feeding off the heat, providing emission-free energy in abundance and leading companies from around the world to move energy-intensive manufacturing like aluminum production to Iceland. Our team traveled all the way to the northeast of Iceland to the Krafla geothermal plant. When drilling a new borehole here at Krafla, they accidentally hit a shallow magma chamber and now are working on harnessing the Earth's energy almost directly from the extremely hot magma. The project's director says this technology could provide clean energy for hundreds of millions of people. We have a very big part of, of humanity living close to a volcano. And if we are able to harness the volcano directly, reducing the risk by, by lowering the pressure and lowering the, the uh, tension in the, in the volcano, then of course we have a win-win situation. Using the Earth's natural energy without burning fossil fuels. The scientists acknowledge there is still a long way to go and a lot to be learned. But they also believe the potential energy supply could be virtually limitless and totally clean. From Plekin, CNN, Berlin.